All right, we have a special five-minute powers play today. We've got a special guest. Who's with us today, Coach? This is Isabel. She's out of school all week, so she came to uh, to help our staff today and uh, and a little Thanksgiving practice. So we're we're happy to have her. Gotta like that. Get a little moral support too, right? Oh yeah, we need it. We need it. All the all the moral support you can get, you'll take. <laughs> Talk a little bit about this past weekend. It was a big weekend for you up at Gila yeah. River. I know uh, the outcome maybe wasn't what you were hoping for, but the effort is certainly on Saturday night was there, wasn't it? It is. You know, we, we keep telling the guys you, you, we can't be result focused, and and uh, I think that's what we were on Friday. We we were just so excited to be out in that venue, and it was a nice crowd of a few thousand people, and. Um, it was on the Pac-12 network, and, and the guys got really result-focused and got away from what our identity has to be, which we've done, you know, you know probably half, the, half of the, the 12 games that we've played. It, it's a team that, that has to play to a specific identity for 60 minutes, or it doesn't matter who you play. If you play, you know, a, a lower-ranked team or a really, really good team like Penn State, you're not going to have success. And so um, I think Saturday people saw us get back to our identity of, of just – competing and being physical and 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 it showed it absolutely showed we, we you know we were we were damn close to tying that thing up in the last five minutes and and got some great goaltending to keep us in it um and uh, and that's how we have to play if the guys continue to buy into what our identity is and every guy on the on the, the the bench is playing the way that we need to play we'll have success so you talk about the, your identity, but you also played a pretty tough opponent in Penn State. I mean, they came at you pretty hard. I commented a couple of times during the weekend, it might be one of the best college hockey teams I've seen in a long time. Oh, yeah, they're, they're special. They're a really, really good team. Their record is uh, is a bit of an anomaly right now. Um, I mean, that, that's a team that returned really just about everybody right. um, of significance from a team that made a regional final. And um, I think I think before the season's over, you're going to see them catch fire. I think... You know, their goaltender struggled a little bit early, and that's probably why their record is the way it is. But he's really good. He showed how good he was as a freshman. And, um, and I think in his last two starts, he's, he's led in two goals. So he, he hopefully will get back on track for them. But they are, they are a special team and, 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 and so well coached. And they play a really exciting, fast, physical, um, highly offensive style of hockey that's fun to watch. You know, I said I think I can count on one hand the number of passes that they did not complete mm -hmm. during the weekend. I mean, everything they threw at each other was was tape to tape, pretty yeah. much, and that that helps them finish off plays, doesn't it? Well, it's that, and they're just, just they're so good in transition, and, and yeah. part of the reason why they're so good in transition is because they're so crisp. You know, and and um, you know that's 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 what we aspire to be in four years. You know, and, and I think they're in their sixth year as a program, and they are built. They are fully built in every way. They have a great culture, and it, it just shows all the way throughout. Um, and again, you know, it, it's uh, they, they've, like I tell everybody, they have, and, and Coach Godowski has set the standard for any startup program. In four years, that's that's where we think we can be. We really do. Well, when you look at your games this this season, you know, you got the empty netters three different times, which you were within a goal. You got how many one goal losses? How many yeah. ties? I mean, it could easily be the other way as well. Easily, yeah, our record could easily be flip flopped. I think I think you could make a, a serious argument that, that that could be the case. Two games have gotten away from us: one in Omaha and one, uh, obviously on uh, on Saturday, and it was a two nothing game. You know, going into the third and halfway through the third, it was. A scoreless tied game halfway through the game it just got away from us there in the last five minutes and I think the guys got a little bit dejected because they really wanted it and um, but I'm proud of how they bounced back they bounced back um, and got up off the mat off of a, a pretty embarrassing result um, and, and it showed that they do have a tremendous amount of pride and and they're they're uh, they're bought into what we're doing and, and again we just have to make it so consistently our guys understand what our identity is. We're not going to outskill and, and, and get into a track meet with anybody, let alone a team like Penn State. And we played the way we had through Saturday, and it gave us a legitimate chance to come out of there with a win. It doesn't get any easier this week with your trip to Holy Cross. I know they're, uh, they're playing really well, especially at home, aren't they? They're a really good team. They're a really good team. They, they, uh, I think they only have two losses, and, and they've beaten good, solid hockey teams. Um, they just they just tied and beat Army on the road, and Army's really good this year. Um, so we got a work cut out for us. They work. They're old. Um, they have I think nine or ten seniors on the roster. So a bunch of kids that have gone through a, a, a change in coaching staff and come in with Coach Berard and 
believe in the vision and culture that he has for that program and it's showing on the ice. Um, so our guys, we have our work cut out for us. It's going to be a huge challenge, but again, um, it, it's no different than any other weekend for us. So this weekend you'll be spending Thanksgiving there. Give us a little rundown of what the team's going to go through. You're leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah, we leave tomorrow and, and so that's a full day travel all the way out to, to Boston and then about a 45 minute bust in the, the Wooster and then uh, Thursday we'll, we'll practice in uh, I think at one and then go back to the hotel and we got a big Thanksgiving dinner being catered and so the guys will eat a bunch of turkey and, and stuffing and not too much to where it slows them down on Friday but um, but yeah so we'll, we'll celebrate Thanksgiving as a, as a family and as a team and and uh, unfortunately all of our other our, our blood family will be back in Arizona celebrating uh, with each other. Isabella, are you looking forward to some turkey? Yes. All right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the time, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, you too.